official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 61. He's 25, but stands 5'7. He fights on a team cowboy and hails from Liverpool, Inspector Mike Michael Evans. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 61. He's 34, stands 5'10. He fights out of next generation and hails from Liverpool, Chris Whitehead. Your referee, Mr. Paul Crossley. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to the business end of our card here at the Almighty Fighting Championships 21. We have an amateur bantamweight title match. Chris Whitehead representing next generation Liverpool in the pink rev gear shorts. Takes on Team Caban's Michael Evans in the orange Hayabusa. Where at least we'll be able to recognize the trunks in this one. Five three-minute rounds to crown the AFC amateur bantamweight champion. Talk about battle of the gyms. Oh, absolutely. Evans working from the outside, chipping away with that low kick, whereas Whitehead was controlling the center of the uh, center of the cage, using that again. That little bit of range that he had in on the clinch work now. Hand fighting, jockeying for position. Lovely Body lock, take a beautiful down. takedown nice. there from right. Michael Evans. Trying to chip away. Just tapping away at the ear of Michael Evans was Chris Whitehead, but found the back of the head. And referee Paul Crossley gives him the warning. Evans has got his hand on the mat here. He needs to be careful. See Whitehead trying to keep him close, pull him in, yeah, bringing, right. that, bringing that guard up a, a little bit higher. He's got his hands in a much more sensible position now. Yeah, hands on the chest. But again, the next gen man trying to stay active on the ground, trying to keep Evans honest. But Evans just bullies him up mm. into the cage. Obviously wants him right there in front of Colin and Mike Grundy, just so he can really hear clear instruction from his corner. Absolutely. And that is a corner where you want to be here. Uh, absolutely. The, 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 there won't be any duff advice coming from the Team Calvon corner. No, you're not going to hear any hit him, hit him. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be uh, only useful information. Stan trying to get that posture to look to try and throw down shot. A few start to get through there now. Really liking this uh, the stacking work done by Michael Evans here. He's lifting the hips of his opponent up off the ground and then almost kind of resting his legs on his hips when he delivers that ground and pound. And again, look at that horrible head position, driving that forehead into the face, pushing down Chris Whitehead. 20 seconds left in this first three minutes stands in. Michael Evans controlling where this fight takes place. No huge damage done by either fighter. This has been all about mm. control and placement. Going face to face here against the yep. fence almost. Talk about head pressure. How about some face pressure? And, and while that was happening, Chris Whitehead used that opportunity to chip away with a few little shots on the inside. Again, mm. nothing hugely concussive, but remind adds up, adds up over five rounds. I can and, tell you. And, and reminding Michael Evans, hey, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm not just going to let you have my w your way with me. You've got to imagine both guys have had a hell of a fight camp getting ready for a five-round title fight. Uh, you would have thought so. And again, there's there's not going to be e any easy rounds at no. in that Calvin gym. There's not going to be any easy rounds in that next generation Liverpool gym either so both these young fighters will be well prepared well tested now the seconds are clear and our referee Paul Cross is starting round two of a potential five here 
Michael Evans, a lot of control in that round. Not a lot of damage Looking by either very fighter. Fast in the second round is Michael Evans. Well, wow. Whitehead, nice Whitehead did set the pace of the striking in the first. Mm. So now Evans gives him something to think about. And again, Evans is doing, has to work to get inside. Whitehead, definitely the rangier of the two. Oh, nice. Went inside with that leg kick and then fired that straight left, snapping the head back of Whitehead. Side to side movement of Evans, very nice. Oh, way, lovely. Yeah. Nice takedown. Waited for Chris just to overextend, go in a little bit too quickly, a little bit too wild. And Evans now able to take him down. But again, you have no doubt that Whitehead is going to have a ground game. But right now, Evans side control, chest to chest. See if he uses any oh, no, just steps on knee on belly, but a nice transition oh, that was to nice. the back. That was very nice. Got both hooks in. Is he riding a little high? No, he's got... Good work by Whitehead there. Yeah. his hips free. Absolutely, but Evans, again, did well to stay with him. Still got that one hook in. Going to try and pull him around now. There, two hooks. Looking to control the hips. Now looking to chip away. Almost looks so like he might be going twister. for a twist. I was just about to say. I've got to say, in, in all my life, never having trained Jets, my proudest moment was escaping a twister from a purple belt from uh, Eddie Bravo's camp. Oh. <laughs> that it was oh, I felt good. Pride. <laughs> well, I got out of the twister only to end up in a banana split, which oh. they enjoyed far much more. So, <laughs> But Whitehead, Whitehead showing that. Showing that composure. Back up to his feet now. Something I never would have been able to do. <laughs> yeah, Richie Gardard, if you're listening, I'll never forgive you for that. <laughs> oh. Thought he was going to step into a sharp knee to the midsection, but Evans manages to use it to get the takedown. And Evans timing his takedowns really nicely in this fight so far, and you could probably even argue that might be what's giving him the Here's edge. the thing, you know, he heard the, he, he, this is, it's not exciting, but it was right, he heard the clay, he knew he had, did nothing. Just kept there, held the position, didn't look to tap away, didn't look to improve position, just when I'm on top, yeah. I'm winning. I'm winning the round. We're starting to get, towards the business end of this mm. amateur bantamweight title fight. So far, Michael Evans been able to control the fight, control the placement of it. Chris Whitehead, perhaps looking at two down. Needs to perhaps change things up in this round. I think he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to approach it from some kind of different angle, isn't he? Whether that's mixing up his striking, maybe trying to get a takedown of his own. But if it's just more of the same, I think we can see Michael Evans has got an answer for it. Ah, uh, seconds are cleared again. Third of five potential three-minute rounds in the Almighty Fighting Championship Bantamweight Amateur Division. Yeah. He tried to mix it up, tried to go for a takedown of his own, but got met with some heavy hips from Michael Evans and is now on his back again. And now Evans is going to do Getting everything in his over. power to scooch his man over into the... He left his hand on the mat. Whitehead has taken advantage of that. And yeah, tied locked up it up. He can get his foot free. Evans getting his hands up. Oh, no, he's got a, an overhook now on the other arm. Hands on the mat from Michael Evans. Evans get, yeah, and he gets those hips up. Now, now I'm oh. just going to pick you up and take you over. <laughs> no finesse there. I'm just going to pick you up and manhandle you over to my corner. 
And again, they go face to face. Yeah, up against the fence. he does like to drive that forehead into his opponent's forehead, making life uncomfortable and miserable for him. He's also brought his man over to his corner every time. Yeah. Because I suppose it's not only the case that you can hear your corner better, but your opponent hears their corner worse. Yes, absolutely. And that can almost be just as, if not perhaps more helpful. Trying to force those legs to the side. He's trapped up that yeah. left Could arm. Could crucifix that arm good and proper if he wanted. I think he's thinking about And here's, it. you know, if elbows to the head were allowed in mm. the amateur ranks, he could have thrown some pretty vicious elbows there. Now he's going to kind of climb over into the, into the mount, or is he going to be happy to settle down in a half? Again, he shows no rush at all, does, does Michael Evan. Happy to work through the position, control, make Whitehead do all of the work from the back, mm. expend all that energy. He's happy to do just enough so that he doesn't get stood back up again. Yep. Maybe if the guard was a little bit more dangerous for Whitehead, he might have gotten a bit more favor with the judges, but... Oh, no, yeah, this is definitely top control, top control, yeah. top control. This is where Michael Evans wants the fight at the moment. He's not having to defend. Yeah, he's not smashing his opponents to bits. But his opponent also isn't threatening with submissions off the mm. back. If anything, he's looking to try and get some distance to disengage. He stays busy trying to get the butterfly guard in or try to get the feet on the hips, but he has to keep readjusting, and Evans just stays heavy. Oh, wow, here we go. Yeah, Final and 10 seconds of the third round. And again, it, it is going to be up to Chris Whitehead to figure out this enigma. How's he going to stop the smothering control? Of Michael Evans, who looks like he could do this all day, to be fair. Frustrated. That was a very frustrated Whitehead just then as he got up. He's probably gone back to his corner and just said, what now? Yeah. He's probably thinking, I tried mixing it up. I tried going for the takedown rather than trying to stay on my feet. He reversed position, so going for takedowns probably he doesn't feel too confident doing that. You know, standing up with him, he's shown that he's struggling a little bit with the takedowns of Michael Evans. It might be a little bit of a loss here, but we've got two rounds for him to figure something out. Absolutely, Evans, other than de perhaps depleting the, the cardio and the gas tank of Chris Whitehead, hasn't done a whole lot of damage hasn't put him in fight ending no, predicaments not a lot of damage being done but uh, as we were saying earlier at this at this level in the amateur ranks going the distance and, and, and not the get, cage yeah. time not and not getting things. hit yeah it's <laughs> not too shabby it's not too shabby at all why go into your pro career having taken damage when you can and fourth verse same as the first three yeah. at the moment looking to just consolidate that top position a little bit couple a couple of good shots landed in and wow this is much more aggressive ground and pound this round from michael evans absolutely maybe he's thought to himself you know what i've had so much success over these last three rounds and it, let's turn it up a bit yeah and great hips there managed to Gets sprawl to the, out oh, but good job from whitehead not allowing well at first he wasn't allowing michael to get those hooks in but He's eventually succumbed to it. Now is he going to kind of just rotate round to his to left mount. in the mount? That's Ooh. beautiful. Feet cross underneath. That's going to be uncomfy for Whitehead. It's going to keep him stuck to his man as well, nice mm. and tight. Trying to flatten him out on the back now, chipping away. Maybe the only thing Whitehead's got going for him now is at least he's in front of his corner as opposed to in front of his opponent's corner, but... Absolutely managed, uh, took the hooks out to lock in that body triangle. Mm. And now he's got a little bit of time to work, so we'll see just how on point Chris Whitehead's submission defense is. That body triangle is so draining. Does the smart thing, switches it over to the other side. 
but they, he's being real smart with it. As soon as he feels that Whitehead's trying to roll him onto the ankle, he then swaps the side that he's got his body triangle on. And no doubt who's taken yeah. this round. The back control. And it's been back control for a, a minute. Yeah, a yeah, fair amount of time now. He, he stays here all round. There we are. Puts the body triangle on that side, and then I reckon he'll switch it over. Yeah, yeah. as soon as, as, soon he, as he starts to roll to the other side. If you're Whitehead, the opportunity that you've got, at least, is you know that when you roll onto that side, he's going to try and switch it over. Yeah. So in that space, when you're rolling over to the other side, maybe preemptively try and catch him in between the transition, but Michael Evans has just been so good with that body. And, and, try, and tightens it up, keeps trying to hook the foot behind that knee. It's uncomfortable, drains you, you can't breathe properly. Very, very difficult position to be stuck in in the fourth round. Yeah, and very diff very difficult for Whitehead to, to do anything meaningful mm. other than defend. Well, it appears that he's at least been able to roll onto the weak side of the body lock. Takes some of the pressure off it. But again, 10 seconds And then Mike Levin switches it up back to the other side. And just continues to grind his man away. Three more minutes of that from Michael Evans, and we'll be crowning ourselves. Michael Evans is the new amateur bantamweight champion. It is all on Whitehead to change things up now. Absolutely, he's got to uh, he's got to pull something out of the bag. Michael Evans, calm in his corner, controlling the breathing, listening intently to Colin Heron. For a young man who's just put 12 minutes of hard grinding graft in, Evans is looking surprisingly spry. Mm. He's also got the team team logo tattooed on him. Talk about commitment. <laughs> Absolutely. And of course, it doesn't hurt that you've got your biggest teammate sitting just a few rows back, Tom Aspinall. Yeah. One of the brightest heavyweight prospects in all of MMA and legitimately in with a shot at becoming the first British heavyweight UFC champion. And of course, you can't forget the likes of Darren Till and then when you think they've got Terry Edom and some of the guys there training, just a great camp for Cabal and chips out that leg. Michael Evans, the thing about Evans is there is no sense of rush in him at all. Is there just no panic? Everything is calculated. Everything is smooth. Chipping away at the body there. I mean, it's an amateur title fight, but it's not amateurish approach that Michael Evans is taking. Oh, fight. no, this is the path of least resistance, isn't it? Why, why struggle with, you know, a three or four inch reach deficit mm. when you can do this and in the side control, Trying some lovely passing here as well. And then engaging in the conversation with his cornerman. Steps over, but steps over into that half guard. And looks like he's gonna ha lock down on that. Oh, this is interesting. It's smothering, he's staying busy so that Paul Cross, there's just there's no chance to stand up here at the moment. He'll keep chipping away. He'll look to improve the position a little bit. Forces Whitehead then to close up the guard, but even if Whitehead wins this round from the bottom, it won't be enough. He's got to start looking for something. He's got himself right in the corner there. He's done it every chance he's every got. Time. I wonder if there's even maybe like a a little bit of an intimidation factor about being put into that corner. You know, when you're hearing, you know, these voices of these big name coaches that you've heard in the UFC, you know, you've heard of Colin Ah, but you say that, and yeah, you've got true. UFC coaches over yeah, there. Yeah, that's true as well. <laughs> Molly McCann, Patty Pimler, you know, the, this it, it wouldn't be Mr. Rimmer's first rodeo at the big, mm. at the big stage. You've just got two very good camps. It's just that Michael Evans smothering game plan is being pulled off to a team. Mm. And Michael Evans has almost been able to take the other corner completely out of it. Absolutely. Unless it's in between rounds. I mean, then it, we look over now, they don't have any ideas. 
I mean, he looks like he's waiting for a bus occasion, Michael Evans. He looks up, he looks around. Yeah. Gonna chip away the body, chip away the thigh. None of these shots are gonna KO you, but every one of them's landing. Every one of them's just adding seconds to my logbook so I can walk away with this title. Now starting to get aggressive. 10 seconds left. Michael Evans into that mount. Gonna finish off wow. on top so the judges can what watch. What an amazing performance from Michael Evans. Absolutely, 15 minutes, uh, yeah, this is my title and you're not taking it from me. 